I love cake. Everyone does, right? What's your favorite type? Mine's chocolate. But imagine the instructions were incomplete and didn't tell you to put the mixture into the oven. You'd be left with an inedible mess. That's what happens when mistakes are made inside the cells of your body, which can lead to several life-changing diseases, like cystic fibrosis and Alzheimer's disease. DNA is the genetic cookbook inside all your cells that carries the recipes for all the things that make you, you. Each recipe gives instructions for one of the many different proteins the cell needs. And I'm not talking about chicken or steak. Proteins are the molecules that allow the cell to function correctly. The DNA stays safely within the nucleus, a clean and secure bookshelf. But the proteins are made outside of the nucleus, mostly in the cytoplasm, the kitchen of the cell. Just like you wouldn't want to get egg or flour on your precious cookbook, instead of the DNA leaving the nucleus, a copy is made. And this copy leaves the nucleus to be used in the cytoplasm. The copies are made of RNA. At the end of the RNA is a stop instruction, which indicates the instructions are complete. But sometimes, when the DNA is copied into RNA, a mistake is made, and an accidental stop instruction is included before all of the instructions are complete. Have you ever tried to follow a recipe with a few pages missing? Nothing makes sense. Therefore, the cell needs a quality control pathway in the cytoplasm, like a baker who checks all the RNA recipes, spots those that are incomplete, and destroys them. Except, not all proteins are made in the cytoplasm. There's also a specialist production line for proteins to be delivered all over the body. This happens in a different part of the cell called the ER, like an executive room in the kitchen. So what about these proteins? Well, we recently found a quality control sous chef in the executive room called MBAS that's never been found before. So, which RNA recipes is MBAS checking, and how does it do it? To investigate, I remove this sous chef from human cells in the lab and watch which faulty cakes are made. This tells me which RNA recipes MBAS normally destroys. I have found that all of the faulty cakes are of a similar type, like only cheesecakes. So, why is this sous chef so fussy about cheesecake? That's what I'm trying to answer next. If we can fully understand how quality control in the ER works, we can comprehend how it goes wrong in disease, sending out inedible cakes all around the body. This will allow us to design better medicines and even cures for people suffering from their genetic recipes being cut short.